few weeks ago I posted on Instagram some pictures of my new desk setup and many of you asked me what's on it. So today I thought I'd give you a tour of my new workplace. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sara and I'm a product designer working at a tech company in Brighton, UK. Last summer I walked you through the tech gear that I use when I work remotely from Italy but uh, today I thought I would show you my desk setup here in Brighton. So we've been renting uh, this basement flat uh, for over two years now but we're hoping to become house owners so hopefully I will have an entire office space to show you at some point this year. But for now, Luke has the living room while I have the bedroom. I need to say that this room is much bigger and brighter than the, the living room and we can also fit a desk while the living room is too small and he has to work from the kitchen table or from the couch. But yeah, anyway, I claim this space for my own back in 2018 when I was freelancing full time. So this is now my territory. For sure, we would love to have a dedicated office space uh, for us, uh, but uh, renting in Brighton is really expensive, so it is what it is for now. Anyway, before we get started, I just wanted to clarify that some of my equipment, like my MacBook Pro or my office chair, was provided by work, so I didn't pay for them. Anyway, without any further ado, let's take a look at what's on my desk. My main machine is this MacBook Pro that I connect to an external monitor. This was my CEO's old laptop and it's a very powerful machine. I also use uh, this stand holder which holds my MacBook uh, beautifully and I absolutely adore it. Previously I used a foldable stand holder that was perfect for traveling but uh, it wasn't as stable as the new one. I know it's not the cheapest option but uh, I think it's worth it. I used the Dell 27 inch monitor as the main screen. It was super easy to install and the quality is pretty good. The only thing is that the color quality is not perfect, so it might not be suitable for all designers. Actually, when I'm editing my thumbnails or my footage, I prefer using the screen of my MacBook Pro. Overall, this dual screen gives me a good focus as one screen is dedicated to meetings and design tasks and the other screen is mostly for emails and communications. I also use a stand riser which comes with four super handy USB ports. You might have noticed from my previous videos that I was using books to raise my monitor. This stand riser not only makes my life easier, but uh, it also gives uh, a nicer look to my workplace. For me, having the right mouse is a big deal. I use the Logitech MX Master, which speeds up my work 10 times faster. It's very customizable and every button can be set to run different keyboard commands, which is super handy for me because I often switch from checking emails and messages to designing in XT. I also have um, a mousepad um, which is uh, much more stable than the one provided uh, by work. My favorite part of this mousepad um, is this gel cushion padding that provides comfort and protection to my wrist. I use the Apple Wireless Magic Keyboard uh, which was provided by work. If I was purchasing a new keyboard myself, I would probably prefer a mechanical one, but uh, you know, this one is free and does the job. On top of my monitor, I have the light screen bar, which was kindly gifted by BenQ. I never thought about getting a screen bar myself, but I really see the benefit of it. For my meetings, I use the full HD webcam that was gifted to me by Trust. The built-in camera of my MacBook was good, but this external camera is just perfect for me. I was uh, really upset uh, because I couldn't fit both the light screen and the webcam on top of my monitor so I used uh, an elastic band to hold these objects in place and it solved the problem. Let's move on to something else. 
To back up and store my files, I use the Western Digital My Passport Portable SSD. I'm not an expert when it comes to hard drives. In fact, I was advised to buy this one specifically from a friend of mine who has used it for years. I give 5 stars to this product, but uh, I'm sure there are many other more affordable solutions that work exactly the same. I'm using the IKEA desk seat stand with a crank handle. If you're looking for an affordable standing desk, I highly recommend this product, but if you want something a bit more sophisticated, then you need to spend more money. I think investing in a standing desk is a great idea because sitting for a long time can be bad for your posture. You don't need to spend a fortune, there are solutions with a crack handle that are more affordable. I also use this mat to correct my posture and provide support for every movement my feet make. I tend to stand for 3 hours a day, but when I'm not standing I use this chair that was provided by work. I know that buying a new chair can be very expensive, so I'm very grateful for it. A while ago I purchased this LED strip lights. I like changing the color based on my mood. For example, when I need to focus on an important task, I like using green, purple and red colors. And if that's not enough for you, I've got another light here that was here before I bought uh, the new one, but I don't use it as much as before. On the right, I've got this IKEA pegboard where I keep things like my stationery, skincare products and more plants. I love having cactuses because they are easy to maintain and they also purify the air quality by absorbing radiations that might be coming from the outside. I love having my notepad and pencil on hand so that I can easily take notes and put them away at the end of the day. Each of my belongings has a dedicated area so that I can keep my desk clean and tidy. Finding my desk in order every morning sets me up for the rest of the day so I try to put everything away before I log off. I'll be honest, it doesn't always happen. I keep most of my stuff on this Kallax shelf from IKEA. This is my desk lamp from IKEA that initially I wanted to put on my desk but didn't fit quite nicely. The cool thing about this lamp is that I can direct the light wherever I want which makes it super versatile and adaptable. I got these plants uh, from a local shop. Honestly, I don't know what kind of plants uh, they are, but uh, if you have the answer, please let me know in the comments and I'll be super grateful for it. The plant pots um, are from Etsy and I'm obsessed uh, with the look and the color. I also thought it would be a good idea to support an independent business. They have more colors and patterns uh, so that uh, you can find the ones that best uh, suit your workspace. So make sure to check the link in the description below. In these storage baskets, uh, I keep things like uh, my screen cleaner with uh, its towel. I always have a reserve of ballpoint uh, pens uh, because the idea of using normal pens uh, freaks me out. So when I run out uh, of ballpoint pens uh, or sticky notes, um, I can always find a replacement in this uh, basket. Surprise, surprise, uh, I've got more cactuses here. I've ordered a little plant pot for this one, but uh, it's not uh, yet arrived, uh, but uh, I'll make sure to post some pictures on Instagram because um, it's really cute and uh, deserves to be seen. The storage basket is probably the least interesting part of the desk. It's actually full of cables and adapters. It looks messy, but I can easily find anything I need here. I also keep my foldable desk stand holder, chewing gums and a body lotion from Lush which is completely random. <laughs> Down here I've got a light for my meetings or live streams and one for my makeup. While here I keep most stationery as well as important documents about my employment, receipts, letters, a bunch of other things that I cannot even remember. 
This is my favorite part of the shelf. As you can probably tell, I'm obsessed with books, even though most of the times I listen to audiobooks as I can read and exercise at the same time. I'm currently reading The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, and so far I really enjoyed reading this book. And this is my little home office. Nothing too fancy or exciting, but I'm very grateful to have this space in my bedroom where I can be creative and productive whenever I want to. I almost forgot to mention a very important item, which is this giant grey bottle. Drinking water regularly helps to keep the body hydrated, concentrate for longer and ultimately work better. So make sure to drink enough water every day. And that's it, this is my new desk setup where I spend most of my time at work. I really hope you enjoyed watching how I've organized my desk in such a small area. This also reminds me that not everyone has the privilege to have a dedicated workspace at home, but that's okay, the space around you doesn't determine how focused or productive you're gonna be and the fact that my bed is opposite my desk and uh, it's always in the background of all my meetings um, doesn't bother me anyway uh, you can find the link with the things i've mentioned in the description below and as always if you are looking for extra support with your work um, i'm currently mentoring designers from all over the world to prepare their portfolio case studies and resume for a job interview and you can find the link in the description below anyway thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video ciao